Hello, this is Jumaket Joy. I am yet to get around to doing an introductory vlog, but hey, one day soonest in the nearest future, you'll see me. And today, I want to talk about this Twitter ban by our president, Buhari. I realized that a lot of our elders, in quotes, do not understand what it is living in this century that we found ourselves in it's it's sad very appalling and very disheartening to realize that our leaders are not in tune with what is going on in this century a lot of us derive so much so much information so much um, pleasure and so much interactions and connections from the use of twitter for me i get to know more about what's going on in nigeria on Twitter I honestly cannot remember the last time I bought a newspaper or when I even um, got to watch the news the local news most of everything I get and learn and speak about I get it from Twitter or any other social media app and um, a lot of good comes from um, using social media and also a lot of bad but like the Yoruba people will say you cannot say you will close your eyes against um you you say that you, should, you will not if you close your eyes to prevent you from seeing bad when good things pass you by you will not know when it's happening so anything that you do has its pros and its cons you just have to learn to balance it unfortunately the excuses the federal government is given over this twitter ban is so sad it's almost uh, it's low level <laughs> of low level intelligence. There are ways you could do these things that'll make you come out looking like, hey, I'm the most brilliant person. But that shows kind of the caliber of people that the president has. And we do know that whether or not we even the shifting to coup is actually embarrassing on his behalf. Because um if we had apparently there are um Pastor Chris Oyekilome's church, they've developed two um, social media mi microblogging apps. Unfortunately, I can't remember the name right now. I think it's it could have been a better choice to encourage people to even patronize our local apps. Nobody wants to patronize Crown. Um, Abra, uh, Ahmed Gabra, or oh, I keep mixing his name. He, he sh <laughs> I do not think any Nigerian, okay, I do not think Nigerians other than Northern Nigerians would use this social media app. When I saw it last year, I was kind of disappointed, okay, well, I was disappointed at the quality of the app. I was disappointed at, <laughs> I mean, everything about that app was mediocre. And yet it was tweeting on Twitter, encouraging us to move to Crown. I do not, in fact... <laughs> Well, I do hope Mr. President sees reason soonest that you're killing, you cannot throw away the bathwater with the baby all at once. There are better ways they could have handled the whole issue with them, with, uh, with, Twitter, with Twitter deleting his tweet. In my opinion, he should have couched his words in softer tones. The atrocities of the Biafran War, the Civil War, is still lingering in the memories of the Igbos. So you should find a way of couching your words in ways that it won't seem as if you're threatening them, you're, you don't, you're cold and lackadaisical towards them. And I mean, that's what I feel. I truly, truly hope that Mr. President gets it right soonest so that he would leave a, a good legacy. Yes, you can't be good all the time. You can't be bad all the time. But you should try and aim for balance. That way, people will say, yes, he tried his best. It was fair. It was just. Um, there was no show of favoritism like we have, obviously, on ground. I hope Twitter ban is revoked soon. I I understand that. The fact is, the federal government knew they goofed, as usual. But somehow, to save face, they cannot do the obvious. That is, you know, go back and... Uh, on ban it and all of that so they have to do this strongman tactics which is it's very typical of nigerian men hey nigerian men i love you all all, all, all the all the same 
So anyways, I hope Twitter ban will be unbanned soon enough so that people can go back to their businesses and, you know, people would realize that Mr. President and his enablers do see reason and understand the use of free speech, free um, rights, the right to, to, to say your opinion without the fear of being clamped upon. And do you think they are going to actually prosecute um, Reverend Adeboye? I mean, Pastor Adeboye or Pastor Kumui? If the if the prosecuting either of those men, they should not forget El Rufai too. After all, he tweeted, I'm off Twitter for now and I really, really, really hope I can get back to Twitter. I love tweeting. Um, in fact, I, I love tweeting and hey, let's see how it goes. Thank you. Oh, please subscribe. Thank you.